nourishing your body and soul with some new Mexican inspired cuisine. That's exactly what you'll get at Taqueria Acosta in Seven Fields. We're joined by the restaurant's owners, Chris and Roberta Acosta. So what are we making today? We are preparing uh, a tr very traditional uh, land of enchantment meal. Uh, it's a uh, New Mexican uh, enchilada stack. Uh, traditionally, Ooh. like around Pittsburgh area, you'll see them rolled and, and uh, filled with cheese and then the enchilada sauce. Out, out west, where I'm from, we, uh, we top them each layer and then hit them with some sharp cheddar cheese. And that's uh, like the New Mexico way? Yes, and we're, we're gonna get to what really puts the exclamation point on the New Mexican way as we go through and, and put this in. And then there's a little surprise in there that I'm sure that you're not uh, I love looking surprises. forward to. I love surprises, I think it's Pop Rocks too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, kinda like that. All right, well, let's get started. How are we gonna start this? Okay, well, uh, we have everything warmed up here. We prepared our New Mexican style chicken, red chili chicken. This is uh, chicken thighs. We sear them after we season them with a little bit of oil. And then we drop them into a nice sauna for about two and a half hours with some uh, chamayo red chili, tomatoes, onions, and, uh, and we make uh, our own stock, which is the base of everything uh, at our restaurant, fresh every week. We have our uh, New Mexican uh, enchilada sauce. The difference Ooh. between this is uh, New Mexico is a blend of native, uh, like Apache Indians, uh, the Mexican, and Spanish uh, uh, cultures. So there's so a lot of influences coming together. That, and that is the beautiful thing of New Mexican uh, yeah. cuisine, is it is the meld of all three of those together. So this is a little bit different than uh, a traditional Mexican sauce. It would have just the red chili in it and a thickener. Um, I like to use roasted red peppers for a little bit of sweetness. Ooh. So it's almost like a spicy romesco type deal there. Yeah. A little Mediterranean. Um, we, we, then we thicken it with uh, tortillas, so it keeps it gluten free mm -hmm. uh, and also vegan. Uh, the enchilada sauces with a uh, vegetable base. So we have some hot oil going. Are you going to yeah. fry some of the tortillas? So in we're there? just we just do this Lightly long do. enough. Yeah, until they are nice and soft. And I have some here. Oh, I just want to show you, yeah, what we're doing here. And you probably want to use tongs. I have to get involved. So we are. Roberta, you laugh. Oh, he's involved, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> so well, we go here. And we're topping here. Some cheese. Some cheese. Sounds great. It's like a lasagna. A, a, that's a, a, a New Mexican lasagna. That's exactly. Lasagna. That's uh, in exactly In Pittsburgh, how I think that's it. The, 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 when we explained it to the servers that, uh, uh, at the Big Spring Spirits, that's exactly the way that we explained it to them. It's um, like a lasagna. That's the easiest way to to uh, translate that. Okay, let's the get the hot views. one going, baby. Yeah. yeah. And then we got. So, Roberta, tell us a little bit about the journey here. And because you started as a food truck, is that right? We did not start as a food oh, truck. You didn't. No, we thought about it, and then we didn't like the fact that with most food trucks, you're standing above people looking down, oh. and yeah. we like to talk to everybody and to hug everybody after they've finished, and that just wasn't our thing. So we literally have been popping out of our Toyota RAV4 for the last three years under a 10 by 10 tent. So a food RAV4, not a food truck. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. you will, yeah. exactly, <laughs> exactly. So then um, it all started during COVID. Um, we, uh, like a lot of people, were unemployed, and we kind of got, sad and bored and depressed in, in that time. And the only thing that made us happy was cooking and serving our food Aww. and being with people who enjoy it. So um, that's how this all came yeah. about. It was a really a travel back to my childhood. Um, my, I grew up in restaurants. My parents were restaurateurs. My grandparents owned a restaurant. So I spent a lot of time in them as a, uh, yeah. as a child. So we are. Yeah, I'm gonna switch, I'll switch you places here. Cool. So you're layering this up. And you this have is the egg on top. right. We put it in the oven to melt just a tad bit, and of course this isn't going to work today, right? Why would it then? Well, we do this here. Gorgeous. Nice. Lightly Ooh. seared. Oh, it's okay. I'll get it. It's hot. Okay, and then we top it with the chicken. Wow, look at that. Our rice and our beans are probably the best rice and beans you're gonna find in town. We get tons of uh, compliments just on the rice and beans. So if I go to a place and the rice and beans are ball, yeah. I know the rest of the food yeah. is gonna be That's great. Sort of exactly. yeah. right, that right. kind of tells you. Like what's the best and worst part about working with your partner? <laughs> um, <laughs> there really isn't a worst part. Um, I, uh, Things that I would have to apologize with other folks, I don't really have to. Yeah, um, you get each other. And, and, and it's, it's, a, it's yeah. a 50 50 thing, and, and I, I don't hold grudges. And, and, uh, and so we just kind of move on day to day. But 
To be able to build this with your partner has uh, been a truly amazing experience. It really uh, has. It, Wait, it's, if it's done anything, part, it's, it's, it's built, made us stronger. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna dig in. Please make do. sure you get some of that yolk. Oh yeah. Okay, let's get some of that yolk. Let's break that open. I brought so, you um, a fork and a knife too, boss. <laughs> so you mix that egg yolk together with mm. the chili uh, sauce, and you almost get like a uh, like a, a chamayo red chili hollandaise almost. That is out of this world. There's so much flavor. Ooh. That is the gift that keeps on giving. Yes, I was following yes, your advice and starting with the rice and beans. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. So Thank good. you so much. As we've mentioned, Taqueria Acosta is located inside Big Spring Spirits in Seven Fields. They are open Wednesday through Saturday each week. We're going to have all this information on our website, kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh.